there was a newspaper that came from my door and it said a thousand more police or something like that the answer to the crime the crime that's going on all of the killings that are going on sadly i saw something on a bus stop and it said um hand your your knife in uh, even across the road from where I live there's a place where you can hand in your knife uh, anonymously it's like a bin and you can just chuck it in there um, it, just, it really made me think like the world is crying out for the, the manifestation of the sons of God and they're coming up with all of these ideas and trying to um, come up with ways of how to stop the the knife crime and the gun crime and the truth is the answer is God like if people was to actually do what the scripture said if parents would train their children up in the way that a child should go and when he's older he shall not depart from it then they wouldn't be out in the world they wouldn't be out hanging around with the wrong people if they was to actually be an example of Christ in their homes then their children wouldn't see their parents acting one way in church and another way at home and think well, they're being hypocritical. I don't really want to know God because if that's how they're acting, I don't want to know and going out into the world. It's so sad. And also, the Bible says when a man's way, when a man's ways please God, he causes even his enemies to be at peace with him. I've heard testimonies of men who have, but there was this one man, I heard a testimony, and he was in the world, he was in a gang, he had done some things or the group of people he was with had hurt somebody so they was now trying to get him and he got saved and he was on the phone and he said i'm not about that life anymore i really i'm a christian uh i've changed my ways and things like that and to this day he's never had any trouble from them why his ways please god now if everybody was serving god if everybody was doing what god was wanted them to do there wouldn't be the knife crime and the killings and everything but sadly <laughs> I mean, as much as I want it to be eradicated and as much as I'm crying out to God and praying for our use, it's only going to be when Jesus comes back that there's going to be no more sorrow and no more tears. But I just really want to encourage you, even women, because a lot of men are being killed, but there are women too, girls who are in gangs. And if you are in one, God, and you're trying to get out, just please God and he will cause your enemies to be at peace with you. Honestly, I can testify. He will, honestly, he has done it for me. When my ways pleased him, my enemies were at peace with me. You have to you know, seek him with your whole heart, mind, soul and strength and do what is pleasing in his sight. And you know, come out of the gangs. Don't be followers of your friends. Be followers of, of be a follower of Jesus Christ and be a leader among your friends and be an encouragement to them. Help them and and pray for them too. You know, being in gangs, even if you think you're doing it for protection, the Bible says that a horse is a vain thing for safety. And unless, a ma unless God keep of the city, the watchman is watching in vain. The truth is, your knife is a vain thing for safety. Your gun is a vain thing for safety. Your weapon that you've created, whether it's a stone or a hammer, whatever you're carrying, it's a vain thing for safety. And even if you're fearing, you're actually telling God that, you know, I don't put my trust in you. I don't trust that you are able to protect me. The truth is, he is able to protect you. It's abundantly above what you could think or ask and so you need to put the weapon down and you need to trust in God you need to come out of that lifestyle because God has he's calling you to something so much greater he has a great plan for your life and he will use you even to turn other women other girls out of gangs it's so sad I mean even when I was in the world I just remember even just some of the fights that you see so oh it was awful it was awful so and sometimes just from word of mouth, just from you know people fighting over trivial things. One girl I know from around an area close to me, some, I mean, I think it was something much more than what was said, but I was heard that a girl had stepped on her, her trainers and then she was stabbed, she was stabbed in the neck. And her mum had told her not to go to that party and she disobeyed her mum and went out. And you see the importance of obeying your mum. I always think, imagine if she had you know, knew about the commandments and kept it, honour your mother and father, she would still be alive today. 
and it's, it's so sad even these young children that are being killed there um or oh, like in their teens they're disobeying their parents the but i mean the first commandment of promise honor your mother and that father that your days may be long on the earth <sighs> yeah i really just want to encourage you to come out and to and to you you can feel the holy spirit tugging you don't don't harden your heart don't harden your heart please listen to the holy spirit and come out come out while while there's still hope while you're still alive because you know the enemy he's he's literally taking people as many people as he can with him to the place that he is going the lake of fire is reserved to him and the angels and he's grabbing as much people as he can with him and so i really want to see you in everlasting life i want to see you on the other side and the the angels god everybody wants you to be there nobody wants you to be where it's reserved for the angels um and for the devil himself don't allow him to to draw you don't allow him to take you don't allow pride and ego do you know pride and ego is a big thing that the enemy is using to kill these people i heard one man he went to sell his laptop on gumtree the person stole it he went and got somebody went to go and find the person who stole his laptop and was stabbed to death that's what his life valued to a laptop no, couldn't just let it go and why that's it's because of a pride i understand you know nobody wants to be told that um nobody wants to be taught nobody wants to kind of it be said of them that oh you was robbed you know pe men are just wanting to get almost like stripes you know it's almost like a, a badge of honor to wear or even for females to say that yeah i've been stabbed to say you've been stabbed a badge of honor this is foolishness it really is folly to say that you've stabbed somebody and that's a badge of honor it really isn't it's a badge of honor to be known by god hallelujah it's a badge of honor for god to know you because so many people are saying that they know god but the truth is god doesn't know them and sadly when jesus comes he's going to say depart from me i never knew you even when you did all those you know great miracles as it says people are going to be crying out and saying didn't I do these great miracles, these signs and wonders and this and that? And he's going to say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. To be involved in violence and stabbing and killing, all of these things is workers of iniquity. So please do come out and God loves you very much.